Welcome back to my channel. This is Capricorn's general reading for March. Capricorn's general reading for March. Um, please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. If you want to book a read with me, everything is in the description box below. And if you want to uh, donate to my GoFundMe, Heaven on Earth is down there as well. But this is Capricorn's general reading for the month of March. So give me clear and those messages for Capricorn. What do you want my Capricorn to you know? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, excuse me, Rising in Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. Anybody don't know, my Cap is in... My son is in cap. I don't know how many degrees, so don't come asking me. I feel like somebody don't know how many degrees. I don't know. I know, but I don't know. It's not off the right the top of my brain. I gotta go look at my birth chart right here. But um, like I told um, Aquarius, my Capricorn, my son is in Capricorn. My Pisces is rising. I mean, my rising sign is Pisces, and my moon sign is Taurus, and my Venus is in Aquarius. So yeah. Boy, y'all. <laughs> I'm in a very playful mood, baby. Aquarius got, they, they lit over there. I feel like Aquarius is partying for the weekend. <laughs> it ain't even a weekend. <laughs> you miss? I feel like Aquarius is litty. They litty. What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March. Holy Spirit, what messages do you want to give my collector for March? Capricorn placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let get it. Let go, spirit. Let go. Let go. You know how we do. <laughs> uh, BD, BC energy. Think about it now, now. BD energy. You know how I mean when they have that big, not that. You know what I mean? That's how they feel on the inside. Women with big cleat, big, big C energy, that's how they feel on the inside. Bossed up. <laughs> um, let's see. Probably wish it's coming true. Pray it. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, my God. See, y'all don't know me like that. <laughs> you really don't, because, baby. Yeah. I need to be over there with Aquarius. They be having fun. Three cards just popped out. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, let's be, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Put it back, put it back, put it back. Okay. What you doing, cows? What it is? What it is? What it is? What it is? What's up? Uh, what's up? Can I need? Never mind. <laughs> uh, I feel like cow. You just being cow. Like what can I say? You just being you. Coming up with new ideas, being shiny and just like, but low key. You know what I mean? We're not cocky. We're just like we confident. We ain't got. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you may be ju uh, juggling like work and family and friends, and I feel like you just like, eh, you know, you on every scene. You in a second, of, uh, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo was heavy in my last reading. Now they got <laughs> so glad, but Virgo card just popped up. Anyways, you may be dealing with a Virgo, or you may be coming into some, um, <laughs> some bang, some, some big, <laughs> some coins. You see that? You see them coins? You may be coming into some coins, to some kind of, um, inheritance, some kind of prosperity, or you just maybe be chilling with your family, relaxing, and it's giving you this beautiful, abundant energy. Nah, you got, you got some coins on the way. <laughs> you got some coins on the way. You got some coins. Yeah. You gonna have enough to give away too. And somebody is somebody like she got coins yet, she got the money yet, she got the she got her money yet. Somebody's watching you. Tell this girl to back up, mind his business or mind her business. 
Because she all up in here. They all up in your jaw. Somebody is striking to see you in this big energy and your BC energy. Like, back up, shawty. Back up. Say over that shawty. Yeah. And you holding on to y'all. You like, mm -hmm. come over here if you want to. <laughs> Get messed up. You know what I mean? You, you really can. You can get it. <laughs> you can run it. Yeah, but I feel like something. It's a secret admirer, a secret crush that, that wants to have a good time with you. Yeah. I feel like it's a um, Leo too that's in your energy. And she's stalking you. She the one in this Virgo energy stalking you. Like, she's stalking your money. And she watching you like, damn. She, she watching you heavy. She may feel like she having this good, she, you may be having a good luck cycle or she may feel like she having a good luck cycle with some kind of something. Yeah, she's watching your love life too. And she's being cautious and logical about celebrating something. Let's see why she and your energy feel. Yeah, she's working with a group of people to like. It's weird. Either she's trying to do. Here we go. I just said in the chorus, we're like, I ain't, I'm glad I. She might be trying to unalive you. Or stop her transformation. Yeah. She want to alive you. She want to call some kind of five of cups energy in your life. Or she wants to unalive you. Um. Yeah. I feel like she's the one having this conflict and um, remorse. And she's angry about something. Let's see what she did. And she stressed. She stressed about you. <sighs> Lord Jesus, tell people to mind their business. Just because you have a penis and a vagina don't mean you have to come over here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it pee. How they say, it, keep it pee. Stay off my clip. Yeah, uh, us Capricorns, if you're dealing with somebody like this, that's an arch nemesis, tell me stay off your clip, stay off your, stay off your D. Stay off of it, because like, why? Just because you got both don't mean we want you like that. Nobody wants you like that. Stay over there in your lane, minding your business, doing your thing. Because that's what we be doing. Like, we be minding our business, doing our thing. I feel like Capricorns go through a lot of this, this situationships, things with these people, because one thing about us Capricorns, well, we don't give a, you know, we just don't. We don't, we, if we don't, with you, we just don't, with you. Like, <laughs> and I feel like people think we're arrogant. Take it how you will, but when you are a hater and you got to watch somebody money and love life, I feel like if you got a vagina and a penis at the same time, then you need to utilize both of them. Do use your imagination. Play with one or both. But stay the hell up out of my business. Stay where it's safe at, because over here it ain't safe. Because I'm tired of this type of energy. You know what I mean? And I feel like uh, my my collective cap be going through this too. Like, people stay on your clitoris and stay on your D, and it's just like, uh, move on. Like, <laughs> even if I was a willing participant, it wouldn't be you. Even if I wasn't practicing, practicing abstinence, it wouldn't be you that I want over here. It wouldn't be you. So stop. In real life, stop. If spiritually, you're doing this stop. Because in real life, you know you will get... I just say you get smacked. You will get smacked. And I ain't talking about no little smack. You get big doll smacked. I can't be, you know. Because people are like, oh, she's threatening me. She ain't a Christian. I know I'm not a Christian. I'm Christ conscious. I feel like I feel like Jesus in the Bible slapped a couple of people. They, it just ain't worded it ain't like that. I feel like he slapped him a couple of people a couple of times. Cause some people can do some dumb, just unnecessary thing, unnecessary reference, unnecessary stupidity. And that's what I feel. I feel like this this Leo is it's unnecessary stupidity. Why are you more invested in somebody's life than than they are? 
and they're the one living it. It's given mental illness. It's given like go see a psych. It's given like heal your wounds. It's given like ew, you got nasty energy. It's given like you got a disease and you're trying to give it to me and I don't want it. And they're waiting on their investment to to return. And they're optimistic about it. Whatever she did, she's optimistic about it. Optimistic about it. Yeah, um, uh, Capricorn, you might be like me and have arch nemesis. But this person is busted and disgusted and they acting like they not. Yeah, because baby, somebody, this is what she heard about. Now you and this Queen of Pentacles energy and your Capricorn energy and the man, the Capricorn man could be in his energy, take a high resonate. But you got somebody coming in to dote on you that see you as a nine of cups and this is why she beat me. Because look, look at look at you. In, in your in your right for energy, cap. In your in your in, in your right for energy. Pentacles. All right. <laughs> Only person that's out of line is this dang on Leo, this Queen of Wands here. This flighty energy. She don't have she don't have to necessarily be a Leo. She couldn't be any um sign, but she's in this, you know, Leo's <laughs> Um, not Leo's, uh, these Queen of Wands energy, especially upside down Queen of Wands, they don't mind their business, they busy bodies, they always up in somebody else's junk, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and they get weirded out by your happiness. Like, go see a cycle, a doctor. Matter of fact, check yourself into a cycle word. Cause that seems like the only way you're gonna mind your business. It's giving like get a life. It's giving like come up with be original. Come up with your own stuff. Be original, baby. Be original. That's what it's giving. Be original. Yes, I wear this shirt often. I love my shirt because people don't mind their business. If you mind your business and love enough, you will you will love yourself, learn to love yourself, and you will start to see where you're lacking at and start working on you. And when you do that, you will see you a much better, happier person. And people actually want to be around you. People actually want to hear your advice. And people actually, you're not, oh, let me hold for and see what's somebody doing, but you're actually living your life. You're actually thriving. Mm -hmm. This is giving a spirit say sad bitch energy. <laughs> Spirit, don't do that to her. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, because she's having a tower moment. Or he. Queen of Wands could be a he or she. Take a high recipe. But they, they, they're they having this tower moment. Uh, oops. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, they try to give you a tower moment. So if you like to give somebody else a tower moment so you can have a, a, a three of ones moment. <laughs> Yo. And then here's her counterpart. Whoever she, this queen of ones is married to or dating, they 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 right there with them. They right there with her. Doing, yeah. Weirdness. Go get a life. Go get a life. Go get a life. Yeah. Go get a life. She mad because it's a your your divine your counterpart. Now you you could be the king uh, or the queen of pentacles, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. But she mad because you got a solid new in it. She mad because or he mad because you mind your business. It's given weird. It's given like yeah. That's what's going on with this person. It's crazy. These people are weird as hell. And whoever's helping her or him, it's a whole couple that's doing this. It's not just one person. It's a couple. And it's a, it's a group of people that's helping them. It's weird. Y'all, it's that weird energy. Y'all are weird, bro. Holy Spirit, what's going on? Holy Spirit, what's going on? 
yeah, somebody is trying to close you off from your higher self and your north node. This is, that's what I'm... Whew, Jesus. It's a third. Somebody you ain't even got no no connection to it. And they're, they're, because they form this, this, they, they form their, their life with uh, lack and suffering. That's, so they want you to be in lack and suffering because that's what they do. They're trying to create a stalemate situation. Crazy. They don't want somebody to apologize for being uh, abusive to you, for being, ha giving you half ass energy. They, this is weird. What I told you. They don't want somebody to apologize for being weird, for, be, for being in this half ass energy. They don't want you to be able to receive and keep your distance. They trying to, these people trying to control your life. Okay. Okay. Oh, boring, karmic. Boring. Oh, do something else. Go do something with your life. You're boring. Boring. Ugh. Boring. Just boring. Ugh. I'm so tired of reading this karmic ass energy. Like Capricorn, I'm sorry, but this is, this is what's coming out. Let's get our prayer. Positive note. Boring as comic. Let's hold oh, this What prayers do you have for Capricorns? What prayers do you have for Capricorn spirit? What prayers do you have for Capricorn? Hold it. What prayers do you have for Capricorn? Hold it. Three. Keep your eyes on your target intention. Booyah! Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dream. So, yeah. Self-explanatory. Protect Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its, and its inhabitants. I ask you to... Uh, post guardian angels at each window and door ensuring its security thank you for guiding my finances so I can afford easily afford to pay my rent and mortgages and taxes so she she might be doing stuff so you can't afford to pay rent afford to pay mortgage you know your taxes your lights your water this is hater ass energy Kermit you're boring oh you're boring go do something with yourself like you're so fucking boring like be gone Go forward uh, fearlessly. I was going to say effortlessly. Go f both. Both. Because I feel like this could be an illusion too. It could be just there. You know how some people just paint this picture? They really did it. But spirit could be testing you like, are you going to believe this? Are you just going to lay down and take it? Or are you just going to keep moving forward? Me, I'm the type of person, deuces, get out my energy field. Get out my life. If you feel like that me being the the best I can be is a, a uh, is is a is a a, a a lose to you. It makes you feel incompetent or fragmented or lost. Sounds like a personal problem. Seems like you need to do better. Get up and do better. Actually, live what you say you are and be who you say you are, and stop wearing these like false uh, false. Uh, masks. Be who you are. Where, wh why are you wearing false masks? Where be you? Wear your real face. You mad because I'm, I wear my real face? You mad because I let people see you be? You know you mad because I be vulnerable and you try to hurt me and you can't because that's just who I am. You mad because I don't beat myself up when I make mistakes. I be like, okay, next time you get this right, girl, you get it right. You mad because I'm my own cheerleader? Uh, sounds like you can't even be your own best friend so I definitely know you what you're gonna do for me and let's keep being a hater in the karmic well you know thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand guiding me giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions into the directions of love and my true life's purpose so uh so like somebody is, is still gonna be in a north node why this this raggedy ass queen of wands and this raggedy ass king of wands sent back it could be a Sagittarius and a Virgo because I kept getting Virgo energy and then Sag came up but you know the queen of wands is Leo energy the the the, the, the Virgo could be in Leo energy which is the queen of wands energy because it's a Virgo um, it's a Sagittarius uh, king of wands and it, um, the, the queen of wands could be a Virgo and 
Baby, go do something with yourself. Baby, go do something with your life. And if you already feel like, because you, if you're a superstar doing this and you already feel like you don't beat up them mountains and make them milestones, move out the way so somebody else can make their own milestones and stop being a hater because you feel like somebody's going to be bigger than you. And that's their business. They put in more work than you. And how you hate on somebody that ain't even in the same field you in? How you hating on somebody that ain't even trying to die, ain't even looking at you, don't even care if you live or exist or don't do this? Why? Why do you put so much attention to other people's lives and you don't even heal what your father did to you, what your mama did to you, what your mama didn't do? You won't even heal how you was your daddy's daughter, lover, friend. You had to do wifely duties for your daddy. Pay his bills and open your last for him. Let's talk about it. Oh, you don't want to talk about that. You gonna go cry about it? You gonna go to therapy about it? Oh, you ain't gonna go heal, but you gonna go back, back, back to pop our leg. Oh, you ain't think I know? But you gonna run back to pop our leg. Y'all gonna run back to pop our leg. You think I don't know? Hey, hey, go play, go play with somebody else. Go play with somebody else. Better yet, play with your clique. Play with your own, play with your stuff. You get bored, don't come over here looking over here lurking. Go play with your own. You wanna play with something, play with that. Your daddy did it for years. And I'm tired of being nice because some people don't know when to stop. Like, mind your business, go do you. Like, some people just don't know when to stop. You need to learn when enough is enough. Dead, came back, you got a, you got a whole nother life, you dead, had to come back, be cloned, come back, and you're still doing dumb shit. Still ain't learn. You went to the other side and still didn't learn. And you came back within the same lifetime, and you still didn't learn. Make it make sense. Who do donuts all their life and then come back and do donuts again? Oh, upside down king of ones and queen of ones. My Capricorn Collector, y'all know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. If you watch my channel, you know what it is. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not talking to my Capricorn Collector, but if you got a hater like I got a hater, a couple of them like I got a couple of them, baby, these comments don't know when to stop, and I'm pretty sure you feel my pain. And the rest of y'all that's watching, y'all know what it is. Peace. Love you guys.